So here is perfectly clear, complete, and I look at it as a portrait retouching tool. Now, it will do more than that, but I'm just telling you how I look at it as a portrait retouching tool. And yes, there's a bunch of different ones out there, but I think the math behind this one is, I think, of the ones I've ever used, I think this one is, is hands down the best. Take a look at the picture here. Here's the before and here's the after. You can look at either a split view here or the side-by-side uh, -side right here. And you can see it's, it's done a pretty nice job. So the things that it has done, they've added in this new version, besides a completely new interface, uh, gathering everything together like uh, perfect skin and perfect eyes and all into one interface so you're not moving between different ones. Um, they did. They have face selection, so it uses facial recognition technology to figure out where the face is, but you can also really manually add. This is brand new. You can manually add. You just say, here's the left eye, here's the right eye, and it pretty much gets the rest. Uh, you have a lot of enhancement stuff, of course, for the eyes, enlarge the eyes, reduce dark circles, which it does really, really well. Uh, you have face contouring here, which kind of changes the width of the, width of the face. Uh, you've got teeth whitening, lip sharpening. Uh, you've got, and th this is nice. Like when you're doing a skin softening, you can say just do the face only or do the full body. So that's, it doesn't, because a lot of plugins that do uh, like skin smoothing or things, they're, they're going to smooth the hair, they're going to smooth everything. They're not using that kind of uh, technology where this one actually says, just do the face. Uh, another new thing that they added I think is pretty cool, if you go down a little further, is uh, makeup. So they actually have, you can add foundation, you can add blush, and you can see I added a little bit to the cheeks here. You can choose different, uh, if you click on the icon, you can choose different types of blush, different types of foundation. There is a overall skin toning. So it, it really has a lot to it. Of course, it's got presets over here. If you go under the essentials, they've got different ones, this intelligent auto. Now, the thing about this is, and I would say this, I've, I've never met a skin softening plugin that I didn't think overdid it, all right? <laughs> so there is this strength slider, and when you move the strength slider, it, it moves, it reduces everything. It's kind of like undo on a slider, but it does it uh, mathematically correct for all the sliders. So it's not moving them all minus five, it moves them in the right increments. So by backing this off to like 70%, I think it looks just a whole lot better. But but that's just in that particular one. They have a Beautify, uh, which does a bunch of different auto automated looks. They have Beautify 5 Plus, which is, is the next level of it. But again, I think it's just a little bit too much, and you can back it off here, no problem. They fix noise. They, do, they fix dark photos. They do have landscapes. Now, it does landscapes. You can open up a landscape shot click the button, click the Intelligent Auto Enhance, or click Vivid. Vivid is a very vivid look, and, and it does look better. And I, I know they'll probably kill me for saying this, but I still see this as a, a heads-up retouching tool. Like, if you want to retouch bridesmaids and things like that, and you want to get it done really quickly, and you don't want to break a sweat, you don't have to be a retouching expert. Of every plugin I've ever used, I think this one does the best job for all the like portrait retouching stuff. I think it is far and away the math behind it is the best. The interface is much, much better. And they've added a lot of things. Like for example, they've added like lip, lip sharpening is a new one. They have regular sharpening, but they have lip sharpening up as well under the facial, where is it right down here? Oh, and catch lights, you can add your own. Now she has catch lights uh, from a beauty dish, so we're not gonna uh, add a little, uh, light underneath, so we're not going to add them, but they've got catch lights you can try, you know, do you want these to come from an umbrella, a ring light, a softbox, a beauty dish, outdoors, whatever you want, and there is a lot of automation, but what I like about it is you can then turn on a checkbox and kind of back things off or increase things. Uh, I, I haven't done a lot of increasing, I've done a bit of back it off, but uh, the shine removal and things like that, if you've got like too much shine, it does a nice job of backing that off if you've got hot spots or oily skin. I, I think they just did a really good job with it. So I'm gonna do dig more into it on my blog and go into some of the other things, just like all the Beautify settings and these other ones. And I'll do that and some. Of, I'll go into some of the eyes and skin and stuff. But that's for another day, but today I just wanted to, it just came out today, and I just wanted to give you a quick peek here on the grid 
of Perfectly Clear Complete 3. You can go download the beta and try it yourself and kind of check it out. Um, they've also got a really good deal on it now, too. If they're doing like a order it now and save a bunch of money deal. So anyway, go check it out. Perfectly Clear uh, Complete version 3. So there's your grid sneak peek.